Good morning. Thank you for joining with me once again. My name is Karen. This month, we have been looking at the account of the birth of our Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua. A couple weeks ago, we were talking about where is Jesus? Are you looking for him? He's right there, always waiting for us here. This is the season when he came um, as a babe and came to be our savior. Last week, we talked about the shepherds who lived lonely, simple lives, who didn't think much of themselves. They didn't even have families of their own. But here, God sent angels to tell them the birth of the Messiah because God found that they were good enough, that they were important enough. And today, I want to look at the lives of the wise men. So if you want to follow along, I'll be reading from the book of Matthew, Chapter 2, verse 1. Let's read. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. So Herod did an account and found out that the Messiah would be born in the town of Bethlehem. That actually means the house of bread. Isn't it amazing how God, Jesus himself, is the bread of heaven, born in Bethlehem. So in verse 9, let's follow. When they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. So, the wise men were looking for the Messiah. I believe that's why they were called wise men. They were waiting for the Messiah to be born. They were looking at the stars, the alignment, and some unusual star patterns were happening. And they started following that star, the modern day GPS for us here. If God sent angels to shepherds, then he can send a star to lead wise men. What did they see when they came in they saw their Messiah. They saw them, Jesus. What did they give to him? They gave him gifts. They fell down and they worshiped him. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And it's a lot different in today's society. Many times we think, what can God do for us? How can he prove that he is worthy of praise? It sounds foolish, but there's a lot of people that believe that. But if you've ever been saved, you want to worship your king. You want to worship the one who came as a babe, as we're reading right now. And what was that purpose? To come and die on a cross and to take away all of our sins. That is why we worship him. Many times we say, God, prove to us that you are good enough for us to worship you. What gifts can you give me? How can you make my life more comfortable? When our attitude should be, God, what can I give you? You deserve all the glory and all the honor and the praise because you took me from a miry clay and you formed me and you washed me clean of every sin that I have ever done and I'm going to do. Because we're not um, perfect. We are human beings. That's why Jesus came to the earth. And these wise men, they knew that it was important to present to him gifts. So what do you have to give to your king this day? How can you give yourself to him? How, what is the greatest gift that you can give him? Sometimes... Um, we could say, well, God, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going, I'm going to do that. But I think the greatest gift that we can give him is ourselves. Give him our time. Give him our talent. Give him finances if that's what um, is being needed. 
That is what I wanted to share with you today. These were wise men and they came to worship their king. So keep that in mind. What can you give your king today? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Thank you that you have come to set us free. You came as a simple baby. And Lord, we want to offer you ourselves. We want to give you gifts. We want to bring you glory and honor because you love us so much. And you desire to have us with you for all eternity. And that no one can sin too much that you cannot forgive us. Lord, I pray in this season that we will keep our eyes focused upon you. They will not um, look at what we're getting or what we're giving to somebody else, but what we can give you, because that is eternal, Lord. Bless every person here that is listening. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. We will be having a little, little podcast next Friday, same time, same place. Um, please dial in, check it out, and just have a wonderful week. And just remember... What can I give to my king? God bless you, and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.